Hey everyone. In the previous video, we ran a training job to create a custom recognizer. And now we have our recognizer available to us. To make it work, we need one last step, the endpoint. Let's create an endpoint on this recognizer. In this form, we need to provide only two inputs, the endpoint name and the inference units. Inference units you would recall is a measure of throughput of 100 characters per second to be processed by this endpoint. We enter one here and hit create endpoint. The message wants regarding the charges to be incurred on creation of this endpoint. Read through and confirm. Now let's wait a few minutes and fast forward. Here we have our endpoint getting created and it is ready now. Can't wait to use this in real time analysis. Let's go, guys. Hitting Use in Real Time Analysis button or hitting Real Time Analysis link takes us to our familiar real time analysis page. The custom analysis type is already selected for us. Let's provide some input text to this endpoint. For the input text, I would go to the WizLabs blog, which is one of the hottest blogs out there for tech and certification related news. I have already kept one of their very good blog posts open and will select some random text from here and test out our recognizer. So here we go. I select this particular paragraph and put into the input text, hit the analyze button and I see a couple of entities. If you see Amazon Elasticsearch service and Amazon QuickSight, they both are services offered by AWS, which were in our list and they have been correctly identified. Let's just add AWS in front of Redshift and that also gets identified and with a pretty good confidence score. Let's select another paragraph. In this text as well, our recognizer has tried to identify a couple of entities, one of them with a very low score because that exactly does not exist. Selecting another random paragraph and hitting analyze, we see the Amazon Web Services and S3, they have been identified with some confidence. So we see our custom recognizer has a decent performance while detecting relevant entities. Now, this is a very small and simple data set. And we have used the minimum 200 items in the entity list. With more specific data and a large amount of it to train, you can be assured that your recognizers will be much better and performant. Scrolling down the page, we see the application integration option. We provide this specific endpoint ARN and send our API request, which returns the result we saw above and which is also available here in the API response for you to see. Our custom recognizer is available in the analysis jobs as well. Going to the analysis jobs, we see our familiar form. I would not create a job here as you're already aware of this interface. After selecting the custom entity recognition in analysis type, we select the specific recognizer that we have created. And that's all. The remaining form remains as it is. You provide the input data location, the input format, the output data location, the IAM role and hit the create job button. That's all with the analysis job. That was quite a journey, isn't it? Well, I would encourage you to explore this more and try to do some POC with your business specific data. Just remember, 
training the custom models and creating endpoints costs you. So be aware of the costs. Customization of the classifiers and recognizers is one of the most powerful and key features of the Amazon Comprehend. And it gives you a lot of flexibility in analyzing complex text that you might have. In the next video, we are going to discuss Amazon Comprehend Medical and see how that works. Stay tuned.